Now, let's divide using short division. First, we have 486 divided by 3. So we can set the question out like this, with our divisor on the left. Now, when we're dividing, we start by dividing numbers or digits in the larger place values. So first, we need to divide 4 by 3. So what we need to think of when we divide is a number in the divisor's times table. So a number in the 3 times table that's as close as possible, but not more. Now the closest number to 4 in the 3 times table is 3. And because 3 is 1 times 3, we write 1 in our answer. But 1 times 3 is 3. And we need to count on 1 or add 1 to 3 to get to 4. So our remainder is 1. And we can write the remainder in front of the next digit. So now we have 18 divided by 3. Well, 18 is in the 3 times table. And because 18 is 6 times 3, we can write 6 in our answer line. And we don't have a remainder because we were dividing a number that's in the divisor's times table. So now we just have 6 divided by 3. That's 2 because 2 times 3 is 6. So our answer is 162. Now we have 581 divided by 7. Now here we can see that the first digit is less than the divisor. So either we could write 0 remainder 5, or what I like to do is to just take the first two digits together and divide 58 by 7. Again, when we're dividing, we need to think of a number in the 7 times table that's as close to 58 as possible, but not more than 58. The closest number in the 7 times table is 56. And because 56 is 8 times 7, we write 8 in our answer line. But 8 times 7 is 56, and we were dividing 58. So, from 56, we need 2 more to get to 58. 56 plus 2 is 58, so we have a remainder of 2. And as always, we write the remainder in front of the next digit that we're going to divide. So now we have 21 divided by 7. 21 is in the 7 times table. And because that's 3 times 7, we write 3 in our answer line. So our answer is 83. Now let's try 592 divided by 8. Again, the first digit is smaller than the divisor. So we can take the first two digits together and divide 59 by 8. So we need to think of a number in the 8 times table that's as close to 59 as possible, but not more than 59. Well, the closest number in the 8 times table is 56. And because that's 7 times 8, we write 7 in our answer line. But 7 times 8 is 56, and we need 3 more to get to 59. So 3 is our remainder. So let's check, 7 times 8 is 56, plus 3 is 59. So now we just need to divide 32 by 8. 32 is exactly 4 times 8, so we can write 4 in our answer line to give us our answer of 74. Now let's look back to this first question. We started with 486, so that's 400s, 8 tens and 6 ones, and we were dividing by 3, so we can share these place value counters out into 3 groups. We started by dividing our hundreds digit, so our 4 hundreds. We can share out 3 of those hundreds, and that gives us 100 in each group, so that's why we have 1 as the hundreds digit of our answer. But now, let's think about why we could write the remainder in front of the next digit. Well, that's because we can exchange our 100 counter for 10 tens. So that gives us 18 tens altogether. And that's why we could write our remaining 100 in front of our tens digit, because now we have 18 tens. We can share out all of those tens, 
and we have six tens in each group, so that's why we have six as the tens digit of our answer. So now we just share out our six ones, and we get two ones in each of our groups to give us our answer 162. Then we had 581, so that's five hundreds, eight tens, and one one. We can take the first two digits together, and we can do that because we can exchange each of our hundred place value counters for ten tens, and when we do that, we get fifty-eight tens altogether. Now we can share out fifty-six of those tens, and that gives us eight tens in each group, so eight as the tens digit of our answer. But then we have two tens that we can't share out. We have a remainder of two tens. But we can write that remainder in front of our ones digit. And we can do that because we can exchange each of our ten counters for ten ones. And that gives us twenty one ones to share out. When we do that, we get three ones in each group to give us our answer eighty three. Then we had 592 divided by 8, so that's 5 hundreds, 9 tens, and 2 ones, and we can share these counters into 8 groups. Now again we took the first 2 digits together, and we can do that because 1 hundred counter has the same value as 10 ten counters. So now we have 59 tens. We can share out 56 of those tens, and we have 7 tens in each group, so that's why we have 7 as the tens digit of our answer. But then we have 3 tens that we can't share out, because remember, when we're dividing, we need to create equal groups. But we wrote our remainder 3 in front of the ones digit, and we did that because the 3 remaining tens can be exchanged for 30 ones, so that gives us 32 ones altogether. When we share those out, we get 4 ones in each group, so 4 is the ones digit of our answer 74.